today's mobility training tip, we're going to stay on the theme of hips. And this is something I've been using since my low back flared up in the summer. And it's kind of helping to groove the hip sockets where we've got more range of motion, and thus more range of motion, more capabilities to move and do complex movements like engines or any sport for that matter, locomotion, whatever. Solid, healthy hips, hips go a long way. We'll get some next to the wall, stand up straight, head, stacked over hips, stacked over feet, shin slightly tucked, hang up against the wall for a little feedback, and the balance on your inside leg through all four corners of your foot, and you're gonna just come into this kind of single leg RDL position, and you're gonna try to keep your hips stacked. So they'll have a tendency at first to like do this, or try to stack. Where they're just here, excuse me, not the word stack, but level. Then we're going to stack them. We're going to stack them, groove our hip, open either adductor, and then we're going to move our hip. We're trying to stack them the opposite leg, and feel a stretch on the outside of your leg. So again, over here, stack head over hips, over feet. Straighten, straighten, straighten. You want to think about being able to bounce that glass of water on both your neck and your tailbone, just like in our all four corners, or our all fours position that we use. Level hips to start, all four corners of the foot, then we open, stack our hips, and on my toe here, toes towards shin to activate tibialis anterior, our hooks that will translate into Jiu Jitsu. And then we just move. Try to attack our hips the opposite way ourselves lift. Be slow with this. Tie them in. in between big heavy work sets. Right before you step on the mats or after training, kind of really helps groove my hips and feel honestly just lubricated and fluid. You know, wake up in the morning tight and stiff. I like doing a lot more of my morning routine before I get to this. And I'll show you some us uh, videos in the future where I kind of layer that into my training. But for now, that's a good movement that you can start applying in your day. Adds up. So we did that. I would do maybe three reps or so at a time on each leg. And you know, just go about that way. But again, it's all about increasing the groove, making it a habit. The more something's a habit, it's gonna sink into your body or your muscular system. And it's gonna go a long way helping you feel better, move better, perform better. That's what it's all about this on this channel. Please hit the subscribe button, like, give the channel some support, it would mean a lot.